Hello Harvey, my name is Marie. I'm one of the final year medical students. Um, can I confirm your name and date of birth, please? Sure, so it's Harvey Thompson, uh, born on 10th of May 1996. That's great, thank you. So today I've been asked to do a knee examination on you today. Um, so that will involve me having a look at your knee, having a look at the way you walk, um, having a feel and then asking you to do some movements. Is that alright with you? That's fine, yeah. That's great, thank you. On inspection, looking for any scarring, which I can see a scar on the right knee, um, looking for any swellings, any redness, um, any deformity and any quadriceps wasting. Would you be able to turn around for me please? So at the back of the knee I'm looking for any popliteal swellings, any skin changes, any redness, um, any scars. That's great, thank you. Okay, so Harvey would you be able to walk to that curtain and back for me? Sure. So I'm just looking at Harvey's gait, looking for any um, abnormalities in gait, looking at the speed, the heel strike and the toe off. So before I start, are you in any pain today, Harvey? No. Okay. Great. So I'm just going to check the temperature, checking both sides. That's great. Seems normal. So for the purposes of this video, I'm going to examine the right knee. So now I'm just going to check for any effusions. So no small effusion. No large fusions either. So, um, first of all, would you be able to bend this knee for me? Great. So now I'm just going to palpate the knee. So, patella tendon. Patella. Down to the tibial tuberosity. Medial joint line. And then the lateral joint line there. That's great. So now I'm just going to ask you to do some movements for me. Would you be able to bend your knee as far as you can for me? And then extend it out as far as you can. That's great. Any pain on any of those movements? No. Yeah. So now I'm just going to do those movements um, for you. So just relax your leg for me. So it's going to bend in. So feeling for any crepitus? Any pain there at all? That's all. Okay, great. So would you be able to bend this knee for me? And this one as well? So now I'm just going to look at the side, looking for any posterior sag. That's great, so no posterior sag there. Would you be able to straighten this one for me again? So um, I'm just going to sit on your foot, is that all right? That's fine, yeah. okay. so I'm just going to pull the knee. So ACL's intact. So now I'm just going to, if you just relax your leg for me, I'm just going to have, if there's any pain, let me know. Any pain at all? No. Okay. You relax your leg for me. That's cool. Okay. So would you be able to bend this um, leg for me as far as you can to bring your heel up to your bum? Great, thank you. And extend it out for me? Great. So now I'm just going to do some passive movements. So I'm just going to move your leg for you. So um, just relax your leg for me. Okay. So I'm feeling for any crepitus? Any pain at all on any of those movements? Not at all. No. So would you be able to bend both your legs for me at 90 degrees? So I'm just looking from the side here, looking for any posterior sag, which would indicate um, damage to the posterior cruciate ligament. Would you be able to extend the left leg for me? So now I'm going to do the anterior draw test. Would I be able to sit on your foot? That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Great. 
So stabilize the leg and then pull, check any damage to the ACL. That's great, it's fine. So now we're going to test for the medial and lateral collateral ligaments. So just relax your leg for me. So testing the collateral. That's great. This can also be done with the leg over the side of the bed if you can't lift the leg. So would you be able to put, pop your leg over the side of the bed? I'm just going to palpate the knee now. So have a feel for the patella tendon and the patella, the tibial tuberosity, medial joint line, and the lateral joint line. Well, okay, would you be able to bend both your knees up to 90 degrees for me? So um, now I'm looking at the side, looking for any posterior sag which would indicate any damage to the posterior cruciate ligament. Would you be able to extend your left knee, please? And it's OK if I sit on your foot just to stabilise the leg. That's fine. Great, thank you. So now we're going to do the anterior draw test, which tests the anterior cruciate ligament. So by pulling forward. That's great. great. So thank you for letting me examine your knee today, Harvey. Um, you can now get dressed. And um, so my examination of the right knee was completely normal. I would like to examine the joint above and below, which is the hip and the foot and ankle. Do a full neurovascular examination of the lower limb and see any available radiation.